All right, before we start putting the coupler and all the goodies on the tongue, uh, we need to feed the wiring harness through your tongue. So make sure you grab the end that is a flat four, and you're going to want that to come out the side with all the holes on the end. So we're just going to feed that through. Just like that. Now we can begin to, to mount our coupler. Okay, so before we get to mounting the tongue, this is a good time to put on your coupler, your chain, and uh, if you order it with, with your trailer, we have your, your hand cart handle here. Makes it nice for hand cart in the trailer around. And also your jack stand, which is definitely a must have, I would think, so when the trailer's off the vehicle, you can set your trailer up level. So let's get to mounting all these. Okay, we're gonna be installing this with the hand cart handle. Uh, it's one of our popular accessories, so hopefully that you did get it. Um, in the hardware bag with the hand cart handle comes a longer bolt that allows it to uh, compensate for the thickness of the handle. So you're going to take the longer bolt, and if you didn't buy the jack stand handle, uh, the normal coupler hardware will come with the proper bolt, same, same setup. So you're going to put the, the washer and the bolt, the longest bolt, through the chain, slide that coupler over, put this down. Right there. I put the chain on the right side. Let me move here so you can see. Hopefully, we'll line those up. Put that through. And now you can just hang the chain over. That little extra weight helps everything kind of from flopping around on you. We're going to do it again. We're going to put the back bolt in. Okay. Swing it around. We got the two smaller holes on the hand cart handle. Black handle grip facing your vehicle. Kind of grab it with one hand like this. Put your washer to nylocks on. And uh, secure that down nice and tight. Alright, if you've purchased the optional jack stamp, this is a great time to put it on now. So let's get to it. I'm going to put this on the ground for now. Grab your jack stand hardware. I have this upside down because I have this handy dandy stand. Uh, you're just going to have to make do on the ground. If you turn it on the side, that works pretty good too. But just keep the bolt through. In the hardware bag are plain nuts. We use these just to space it off the, the tongue. So go ahead and just thread, thread those on. And you're going to want to tighten those up as well. I put a little dab of, of anti-seize on all my threads. It's great for plain bolts, especially stainless if, if you do uh, ever uh, put the stainless hardware on the trailer, something that we'll probably be coming out with and you'll be able to find on the website. Uh, it definitely helps from anything locking up on you. Okay, let me get my wrenches and we're gonna tighten those up. Okay, now that we got these sucked down nice and tight, uh, we can put on our jack stand. So, the way the jack stand is and the way it works, this is the down position. Here, let's pull that out. That locks into these grooves. That's going to be the fold position. So we know that we want this tongue or this this portion facing away from the cover. So you can just put those right over the top of the other bolts. We have the washer and nuts provided. Thread them on. Now to get this back one, I like to pull it out. Kind of pull it out to get access. Put those washers and nylocks on there and tighten them down. All right, so if you purchase one of our ton extensions, this is what it's going to look like. And there's a front and back of these, it's just like the wiring. So the frame wiring coming off the frame, it's got the male end. We're going to want to make sure that this male end comes out through the reduced piece here on the ton extension. So the easiest way to thread the, the wiring harness is to start from the small end with the female side. Push it on through. 